chest in. We're good, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are here today outside so we can get the fresh air and you can hear the wind blowing. If you're new here, remember to subscribe. If you're not, welcome back. And thank you for subscribing and joining the community because we're growing and glowing and we love to see it. So today we are going to be talking about fun fact the guide to traveling to jamaica and as a jamaican born and raised you know i have the tea for you the insider scoop on how to get the most out of your jamaican experience i got you like we're gonna have all the tips listed down below and you can just follow along if you want so without further ado let's get straight into it so the first one you want to do is dress for the climate i'm out here for like five minutes and i am really sweating make sure that you dress for the climate so tank tops um tube tops shorts hello don't be afraid to wear shorts you're on a vacay you swimsuits if you want swimsuits and cover up girl guy listen if you want to walk around in your bikini or your trunks do it because down here is really hot and if you are experiencing winter still or it's really cold in your country i can assure you that you're going to be in for a big scare when you come down here in your layers of clothes and expect yourself to not be sweating because it is hot <laughs> down here like slippers shorts top i would suggest that you bring visors caps whatever it doesn't matter those really big sun hats if the weather for sunglasses and the weather for sunblock all right can't say i didn't tell you <laughs> second one i want to say is carry your driver's license because i'm going to really tell you guys to go and get some of the uh, jamaican experience don't be stuck up in your hotel i mean if you're a hotelier and you just want to sit down and relax for a week then that is fine with me like i can't tell you what to do it's how your vacation but if you are the type of person that wants to explore and experience jamaica for what it's worth then i will suggest that you bring your driver's license just in case you want to rent a car if you want to rent a car also i'm gonna tie in two points right here is to plan an itinerary and do your research make sure that you don't come to jamaica and have all the regular duns river falls and those kind of um stuff on your itinerary so rent an airbnb or a bed and breakfast and just enjoy the rustic vibe and rustic mood of jamaica so what i'm saying to you is that you go on trip advisor so you can see what other stuff jamaica is about and you don't need to even go on the north coast you could go to the south coast because they have a whole lot of opportunities for you guys all right so don't just box yourself into what everybody and their dog does when they go to jamaica experience experience we're about that life <laughs> so and tying into experiences make sure that you eat the street food it is safe it is delicious and around the place explore the place and make sure that you talk with the locals they're really friendly you don't have to miss a beat with the locals because they will give you the hidden gems and they are by default tour guides so they would obviously say yeah come man and you can just tip them and go about your life and obviously go through the most amazing the most amazing trips of your life and you never knew that until you watch this video right so make sure you go and find out what a local is serving as street food and not only that but just ask them if they know any beaches around the place any rivers any other things that you know you can go and enjoy so I told you so also while you are going on the nice excursions and making sure that you are friendly with the locals because they're friendly with you you want to carry bug spray i mean you can buy it but we don't want to forget anything while we're coming to jamaica because we want to spend all that time enjoying ourselves you don't have to bring a lot but you know it packs a punch and it keeps the mosquitoes away we live in bush 
no matter what you would say if you're spending a coin on your airbnb you're bound to run into a mosquito unless you're going to close the windows and doors for the rest of the days that you are in jamaica but i can assure you that if you want to go out into <laughs> the countryside or the town side if you're a city folk because we have a lot of cities around jamaica if you want to go out and explore you're going to need bug spray and your water bottle and your glasses your sunglasses your shades make sure that you have your shades and your hat just saying so also so on the topic of money dinero currency we use Jamaican dollars but US dollars is also accepted but you want to have Jamaican dollars on hand so you don't get bamboozled <laughs> into paying more than you should to be honest <laughs> because once you have like an accent and stuff not saying that everyone does it but i'm not going to steer you clear of you know these things that actually happen sometimes yeah so you want to have the jamaican money so you understand the currency and how much each thing is like i said do your research do a lot of research people to understand what a five thousand dollar means and what a fifty dollar means so you know how to use it how to spend it and how much change to get back you want to change out your us dollar at a honey gram or a western union once you come down so that you can use it freely because sometimes your us dollar as long as much as it is um, used in jamaica you know some banks and some um places have different rates so at the at now it's kind of like between 148 and 155 but it varies as you stop at each place so you don't know what you're going to get until you ask them and say hey what's the u.s exchange rate so just have the jamaican money on hand so you can use it freely and go about your business because you know time will not be wasted while you're in jamaica <laughs> on the money usage i will also say that you guys should bring your credit card your credit card is you know accepted by a lot of places in jamaica because we turn up so <laughs> but you want to use your credit card just in case you want to get points on your credit score and just not use cash all over the place right but before you leave just make sure that you tell them that you're on vacation in jamaica because we don't want to go back and have your credit card locked all right because we're safe we're safe you can use it and not be like oh my god worried that something's going to happen to your credit card that's not the case so if you are a credit card holder you know and don't carry change a credit card would be very well encouraged so last thing i want to say is the language we speak english you don't got to worry about not understanding us i mean we speak creole patois but when you're talking to a tourist you automatically speak english so you have no problem with understanding them unless they have like a heavy jamaican accent and you know they're trying to do the twanging and it kind of don't work but blow up in them face but that's not the case most of the time i've had many tourists say that they understand the jamaican english but if you want to be all that in a bag of side chips i suggest that you learn a little bit of creole like a little bit of what <laughs> like we say more than wago and we say more than Iriman. we kind of don't even say that but um for what it's worth learn a little bit of the language so that you can actually save because once they understand that you're kind of sort of understand jamaican language the patwa they will give you like say something is for a thousand dollars they'll sell you for five hundred dollars and if you can actually befriend a local and have the local talk for you must believe that you'll be saving some money all right so guys that is all i have for you today the wind is coming in and i'm so happy for it <laughs> i hope this was very eventful and added value to your lives <laughs> but i hope you have a great day great week great month great year as long as it's great i will be so happy all right stay tuned for other videos i post twice a week so you don't have to worry about missing me 
<laughs> and like I said, if you have not already, please subscribe because our family is growing and glowing and I love to see it. It is free and it's that little red button down there so you don't have to miss it. It's right there. <laughs> Bye. Where you